Have you ever wondered how Turkish people live? How their apartments look like? If you are curious about these things, please stay tuned because I'm going to be showing you a building and a house in Turkey today. You're going to learn the Turkish way of living. So in the city centers, most people live in apartment buildings in Turkey. There are single buildings like this one, but there are also many compounds where you usually have some kind of garage, activity areas like basketball field or playground for children. According to a research done by Istanbul University, 40% of the households in Turkey are tenancies. When it comes to renting, you have a few options. You can rent a furnished home or you can rent an unfurnished home if you have furnitures. You might be asking now, where can I search for houses in Turkey? So the most popular website for buying or renting a house in Turkey is sahibinden.com. You can find the link in the description below. Let's check out an apartment building now. So this building has two blocks. This is block A and this is block B. They have different entrances. So at the entrance, you have this fancy system. You enter the door number to ring the door and then the person sees you from this camera. If you are someone that they are expecting, they open the sliding door. So in most new buildings in Turkey, you have at least one elevator because usually there are many floors, like this building has 11 floors. And it's also good for old people, or people with disabilities. Now let's enter the house. Hoş geldiniz. Welcome. Now I'm going to be showing you some of the things that make a home very Turkish. These are things that you can find at most of the Turkish houses. Let's start from the living room. Laces. So laces are definitely an indispensable part of a traditional Turkish house. Turkish women are so talented at knitting laces and they love to put them on every surface possible. You can find them on a table, on an armchair, in a fridge, or even on a television. Uh, we don't have to see your face. But nowadays, unfortunately, it's not as common as it used to be. Young generation mostly doesn't use laces anymore. But old people still have them in their house. Plants. Turkish moms love plants. My mom has over 20 plants at home and she's talking some every morning and night. Evil eye, nazar boncu in Turkish. So this is actually a very common thing at Turkish homes. Some people believe that it protects them from bad luck and that's why they use it at their home. But there are also other people who don't believe this and they just use it as a decoration. Carpets. This is a must have for a Turkish house. It keeps your feet warm and looks great on the floor. And we usually use different types of carpets for different parts of the home. For example, we have this carpet for the entrance, this for the kitchen, and these two for the living room. Vitrine, glass display case. We don't have it here, but in many Turkish homes, there's a vitrine. It's a glass display case where people exhibit fancy porcelain glasses or porcelain plates they have. And even some expensive alcohols, usually not for drinking, but just for showing, just for displaying. These glasses, fancy plates are so valuable for Turkish moms that they can only be used if there is a very important event at home. For example, if they are visited by a royal family, they will probably use these fancy glasses. Otherwise, never. They will never use them. Nesting tables or zigon. These tables can be found in many Turkish homes. Turkish people usually use them when they have guests. So if you want to serve tea, coffee or some snacks to your guests, you will put these tables in front of your guests and then you will put their plate on the table. I think these portable coffee tables became a thing because Turkish people don't have the habit of sitting at a large table and you know drinking their tea or coffee. Turkish people like sitting on their comfortable sofas when they are chatting. That's why these tables are very useful. So as a tea loving nation, of course we have black tea. We have a teapot for brewing tea. A bigger teapot in case there are many guests. We have tulip shaped tea glasses and plates for them. Cube sugars for tea. And of course teaspoons. So as you can guess, a Turkish kitchen will not be complete without Turkish coffee and its equipment. So we have different types of Turkish coffees. So this is a different flavor. 
and this is a different flavor. We have Jezves in different sizes and of course beautiful Turkish coffee cups. So I think a lot of Turkish people make their Turkish coffee with this kind of Jezves but electronic brands in Turkey have started to make uh, Turkish coffee machines. It's so easy actually. You just put one spoon Turkish coffee here and then it makes your coffee ready in a minute. As a person who drinks coffee almost every day, it's so convenient for me. So you probably heard that Turkish people are so hospitable and they love their guests. But did you know that in some Turkish houses, there is a room that is only dedicated to guests? These rooms are beautiful designed and furnished just for the guests. And they are usually bigger and better looking than the living room that family uses. I honestly find it unnecessary, but it's what it is. Some people still have it. So in the past, these squat style toilets were more common in Turkey. But now people mostly prefer western style toilets like this one. And it is actually a common thing to have two toilets in a Turkish home. This is because some people prefer western style toilets and some people prefer a squat style toilet. So maybe you were thinking that many Turkish people have Turkish bath inside their home. Because why not? This is a Turkish thing, right? But that's actually not true. Most Turkish people have normal shower cabins inside their home. However, there are some people who are very rich and they have a small hammam, a Turkish bathroom inside their home. If you have noticed anything else about the Turkish way of living, please leave me a comment below. Thanks a lot for watching guys, I hope you liked it. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. I hope to see you in the next video. Kendine iyi bak, görüşürüz.